Hello folks, I'm back with another one. I hope you're well. I hope you and your family are doing good. Um, obviously, recent news, at least for us in the UK, is that there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully, um, towards the summer months, we can look forward to restrictions being lifted and obviously if it's safe to do so, return to some sort of normality. I for one need that and I'm sure, you know, yourselves are, are looking forward to that as well. Um, in this video, I'm going to speak about GamStop. Um, now, GamStop is something that has really helped me in my recovery um, from gambling, but also, well, in particular, online gambling. Um, but the funny thing is, whenever I mention GamStop to you know to gamblers or to people who are looking to stop gambling, it's quite often I, I get said to me, "Is it Gamban? Um, Gamban being the software that um, blocks access to online um, gambling-related websites." Now, I'm not. You know, each to their own. People use what works for them and what works for me that might not work for you. But I feel if there's something there to stop you signing up to online casinos in the first place um, and something there that closes existing online casino accounts, then even if you found that you could access um you know gambling related casino websites this sort of is a, a safety guard if you get what i mean um so thing is like i said what works for me won't work for everyone but the the one thing that will say about this is that if you are looking to stop gambling and one of your big gambling um, sort of hobbies, if you like, for want of a better word, is gambling online. I believe this, in the very early stages especially, is such a great tool to use. Um, I'm just going to click on the website now um, and just read a little bit about it, just for those who maybe not aware of this or maybe have not looked into it you know maybe you've heard it but you've not actually looked into it a little bit so obviously i've already given a, a brief explanation there as to what it does um but as we can see here um gamstop lets you put controls in place to restrict your online gambling activities you will be prevented from using gambling websites and apps run by companies licensed in Great Britain for a period of your choosing. So, basically what I've spoke about, um, but on how to register for this is you, well, I'll read it. The more details, you know, is the bet it's better. To make a success of your GamStop self-exclusion, we would encourage you to provide us with as many of your details as possible. These will include your current address and postcode, any postcodes that you have lived at previously. Now that one is, for me, very important because when you've got, I mean, you're going to give them, if, you, if you're signing up, you're going to give them information anyway. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to make out that anyone's, you know, not not with it sort of thing. But I'm talking about closing off any possible gaps in the restricting of online casinos and online sports betting, on basically online gambling. And I think if you can think back to any previous postcodes, you may have entered on your existing accounts with um, casinos and bookmakers online. 
then it's important for you to put your old addresses as well. Um, obviously your date of birth, any email addresses that you currently use or you have used in the past and the same for mobile phone numbers. So you put all that in when you sign up and then as we can see what happens afterwards. After you sign up, they will receive an email confirming your registration. The email will contain information about further practical tools and support designated to help. You can visit the support page for more advice. It can take up to 24 hours for your self-exclusion to become effective. You will be excluded from gambling with all online gambling companies licensed in Great Britain for a period of 6 months, 1 year or 5 years and that depends on the option you choose. Now, I can't say what's right for everyone, but for me, as bad as I was with my gambling, especially online, I chose the maximum, which is five years. Um, but if it's just maybe a, a sharp stop for a period and a big break you're taking, obviously the six month one might work for you, um, but it is really down to the individual. It is really important that you set up an account so that you can keep your details up to date. Addresses, email addresses, mobile numbers do change over time and this is a good way of keeping GamStop exclusion as effective as possible. At a request to self-exclude on GamStop does not trigger automatic return of withdrawable funds from the companies you hold accounts with. You will need to contact the company directly. Gamstop is not responsible for returning funds. Now obviously that's just saying that um, you, if you've got money in your existing casino website um, account you, you'd need to contact them to withdraw that um, after you've signed up to Gamstop because obviously you won't be able to get back in so you'd have to contact their support by email or many of these websites have live chats um, and, and ask for the withdrawal to take place. Um, you, will not be able to con uh, you will not be able to cancel your self-exclusion until your chosen minimum period has elapsed. Once your minimum period uh, exclusion period has elapsed, you will need to call GamStop to ask for it to remove it to be removed otherwise it will remain in place now I think that also is a really good extension of the tool in terms of if you've put it on for five years even then it's not oh I can gamble again you would need to contact GamStop um, to make sure that they are aware that you want to remove it um, after the chosen minimum period of exclusion that you have you've done um, so it just gives a little bit there who is behind GamStop GamStop is operated by a not non-for-profit organization called the National Online Self-Exclusion Scheme Limited but yeah I, I hope that's giving you a little bit of information around GamStop um, I know it's been a little bit me banging on a little bit about it but I wouldn't do that if I didn't think it's such a, a really good tool um, whether you are looking just to take a, a break from gambling or if you're in a position where you feel look I, I can't I just cannot gamble normally I can't gamble if you like responsibly and you, you are looking at then wanting to stop gambling completely um, for the foreseeable future, you know, um, if you don't want to bet again, sort of thing. I think if your online gambling is to a stage now where you, you know, that's the biggest part of your gambling, at least sealing off that that sort of avenue to gamble um, is something that can really help because. The other ways in which you can gamble, you know, there's enough help out there to 
I'm sure you've heard, you know, that you can self-exclude from bookmakers um, and the same with land-based casinos. And I think it's just about one by one closing off the avenues in terms of the avenues you have got available perhaps now to, to gamble. Um, it, if you The more you close off, the less, well, less likely you are, but the less chance you've got of gambling. And it may sound extreme to some people, um, but if if gambling is really affecting you or your family around you or people who you really care for and you have come to the stage where you would like a break or to stop, put the tools in place, put, put the barriers in place to enable you to do that. That's my advice, having um, lived you know, and, and battled gambling addiction for for many years and, and finally, you know, two years gamble free. So yeah, I, I wish you well in, in whatever you choose to, to help you. Um I hope this has just put a bit more clarity on what Gamstop is about and what it does. Um and yeah, if you if you want to leave a comment, if you've got any questions further around any help that's out there or um, about Gamstop or anything like that, do let me know. Um, and yeah, I will catch you on the next one. If you want to, obviously, if you, if this has helped you, if you could help this video get in front of as many people as possible in terms of the more people it's in front of, the more chance it's got of helping someone who really could do with it, you know, are struggling with it. Please leave a like. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. I know all YouTubers say it, but it's just a case of it. It really can benefit people, I'm sure, if if you know if it's in front of people. So, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. And thanks a lot for your support, folks.